in typical fashion with modern Sony and their social justice warriorism, they have a big black pandering push. Now, I don't know if you see my skin color. I'm clearly a black guy and I have no hate for black people. I'm one. Okay, but the problem is I don't like when they're doing priority over equality because, you know, before in the last game, you had an equal mix of everything, right? And it was real world stuff. It looked like a real world we live in. It goes to different regions and different places. This and every single region and in every single cutscene, there's oddly multiple black people that have to be placed in that cutscene with more on-screen time than any other race, and it gets to the point where it's really uncomfortable. Essentially, in a nutshell though, the name of the game should not be called Elden Ring. The name of the game should be called You Died. And I think if you're smart, you'll just play something else. So many hours losing time away from your life. So I would say this game is for somebody who really is looking for a sandbox. They have no family, no friends, no life, and they have literally thousands of hours to grind away. And, it, and it's not fun. There is nothing fun about this game. Welcome to the Quantum TV Files. This man has been making waves in the YouTube community in the last month and a half for a controversy that he himself created all because he doesn't have self-control. Now the origin of Quantum TV on the surface looks like a innocent man, a man that when you go to his YouTube channel you will find specializes in reviewing TVs. What puts this man on a different level than other TV reviewers on YouTube? Well, you see, the tech community on YouTube, because, uh, you know, YouTube has all these little niches of communities, they don't like this guy, and for good reason. Quantum TV is the kind of dude who, no matter what you say or what you do, you can never just come to an agreement. He always has to be the last word. He always has to play the professional victim while simultaneously making choices and decisions that make people hate him beyond the normal scope of hatred on the platform. And you see, Quantum TV has also, he shouldn't even be on YouTube because his previous YouTube channel was suspended. And the only reason that we're talking about him now is because he made one of the worst video game reviews of all time, attacking anybody who enjoys something that he doesn't. He's created a fantastic standard for judgment and criticism, and we're gonna be responding and going over some of his most recent drama in the last month and a half with another creator by the name of The Act Man. But before we begin, special thanks to the brand new sponsor of the channel today, Surfshark. Have you ever wanted to bypass government restrictions on the websites that you visit? Well, now you can. Surfshark VPN masks your privacy. If you don't know what a VPN is, VPN stands for Virtual Private Network, and it covers everything that you do online. It masks your IP address, encrypts certain private information so that nobody can snoop on what you're doing. It's like when you go outside, you usually wear underwear and pants to mask those private areas. In the same way, that's what a VPN does for your internet connection. If you don't like the government spying on you, they have over 3,200 different servers in 65 different countries. It's one subscription, unlimited devices, but most of all, if you are in the UK or some other country in the world that blocks streaming websites like Netflix, Hulu, HBO Max, have your favorite street shows blocked, well, Surfshark can bypass that and you can stream effortlessly with no hiccups. If you go to Surfshark, dot deal slash repsion and use my promo code repsion you're gonna get 83 percent off with an extra three months for absolutely free it's as simple as a one-click process to connect and protect your privacy online support the channel click the link and start protecting your privacy today with surfshark so the origin point of Quantum TV starts at the YouTube channel Mischief, that when originally this happened, Mischief had roughly between seven to 8,000 subscribers. He was a relatively small YouTube channel because Mischief made a video response to Quantum TV because Quantum TV made a video about the video game Elden Ring. Now, whether or not that is your type of genre of video game, it has won a lot of awards. People love the game, people hate the game. It is, it's fairly a positive, well-received game. But I digress. Quantum TV made this horrendous video and Mischief made a video response critiquing, criticizing, his video. And while Quantum TV didn't like that and threatened to file a false DMCA strike 
uh, on Mischief's channel, in which Mischief didn't really want to deal with the hassle that is a DMCA strike on your channel. You're looking at today doesn't criticize the game for any of that in its majority, but instead goes down the illegitimate criticisms of souls like Games Route via flat out spreading false information repeatedly about the game and all around being incredibly misinformed when it comes to Elden Ring because her dirt is too hard and my easy mode. No matter what it is, if a game even remotely challenges someone, you will end up finding people like the guy we'll be looking at today crying about it because God forbid a modern AAA title doesn't baby you through everything. So without further delay, let's get into this insanely bad critique of Elden Ring. Really annoying when you do because when you get a, for a copyright strike, whether it's valid or invalid, and it gets removed on your channel, um, it limits your uh, capacity on your channel. It doesn't allow chapter markers. Um, you're no longer allowed to stream for a certain duration. It will actually block you from being streamed. It's really annoying process to go through. I myself have dealt with the DMCA process on YouTube. Um, it has slightly, slightly improved. It doesn't always go through anymore. But every once in a while, people still abuse the copyright strike. If there's one, if there's one thing I can put my thumb on, is that if you are a creator or not a creator, there's one thing you don't do on the platform. You don't file frivolous copyright strikes against other content creators. If you do that, everybody's eyes are going to be focused on you. You're going to get a shit ton of negative publicity, and it's going to be harsh publicity, harsh criticism, because it's just, it's just something you don't do. If somebody makes a fair use video where I interject clips and segments and I respond to something, which I'm going to do in this video towards Quantum TV, that falls under fair use of comment and criticism. By law, that is what that constitutes as. Threatening somebody to DMCA them, saying, look at this, I got this guy to remove a video because he was critical of me of some shit video that I made. You, Quantum TV, essentially threw a, a gigantic bottle of gasoline on a fire and didn't expect it to catch, to igni ignite. Oh boy. So as you guys know, I did a review on Elden Ring. That didn't go very well apparently for some people and namely the veterans of the Dark Souls series. So I'm receiving some backlash now that I wanted to address with some of you because a lot of you are not only being childish but I don't think you're actually seeing this objectively. So I will try to put this in a way that maybe you can understand to understand where average players are coming from. You see every single Dark Souls fan watching this video right now had to die a million and one times to learn how to play that game. Using that experience and laterally jumping over into Elden Ring, you're able to, again, experience that level of challenge, but it's not as hard because you've already done something similar before. It pops up, people talk it up, they say it's great. I give it a go as a complete and total outsider to the series. And you know what I met with when I talk about flaws with the series? The same thing I met with the TV world, where when you mention a problem with something, fans of that series just damage control it. They'll say stupid, petty, chisty, catty, childish shit. Like, Oh, you've lost credibility because you've spoke your mind. You you gave your opinion. You now have no credibility with me. Okay, bye, bitch. I don't give a fuck. The reality is, that's my opinion based off of playing it as a new person. They have no easy mode. The graphics are dog shit. I mean, we're talking PS5 and Xbox Series X. You really gonna sit there and tell me they tried their hardest to bring every little bit out of those machines? Of course not, you know that, man. And the thing that really pisses me off is all these fucking fans of this game know that the graphical issues are there. They'll try to say it's okay or it's passable. It's shit, be honest. PS5, Xbox Series X, power your dreams, the next level gaming, all that stuff, none of it happened, right? Okay. Dude, not every game has to have these phenomenal graphics like not every game has to utilize the like the processing power of every computing <laughs> computer part and hardware like what you're describing here is like the game has to be a certain graphical level for it to be good the majority if you're really critiquing a game based upon graphics if that's your standard for judging a game is simply based upon graphics then my goodness you're missing out on so many great fantastic video games over the last decade simply because they don't push the console's groundbreaking hardwaring hardware power you know then we look at the fact that when you look at the gameplay itself it's clunky. The controls are shitty for a new person just getting in. I don't know how it is for you, but then even if you are a vet, you're still going to die a bunch of times, right? You you are. I mean, I'm a PC player, so I almost always exclusively use a mouse and keyboard for everything, even games that don't require it. However, I hooked in my Xbox 
S Series X controller. And honestly, it's really not that bad at all. The controls are really easy to use. And this is somebody who doesn't even utilize consoles or play consoles very, very, very sparingly. So not every user experience for a game is going to be what you think that you experienced as. And if you, that small minority of like literally maybe five people want to vocalize how you feel about something that a lot of people love, you're going to have to expect backlash. And the thing is, you have guys sitting up here acting like they, they never died once. They just one shot at a boss. You're not one shotting the boss. The way they made the game is so that the way the boss hits you, it takes so much of your life away. That's very frustrating. Now, I don't know how many of you like to game, but let me just give you a little personal insight as to how I like to game. I come home from work. I'm trying to unwind. I'm trying to relax. I'm not trying to sit there stressed out on some fucking game, yelling at the screen, trying to hashtag get good because that's like this mentality that all you guys have kind of gotten submitted into you guys literally sound like like abuse victims right like you're in a really shitty relationship and that's just how it is man you know you just take it on the chin man is how it is yeah great comparison let me explain to you something really simple for your degenerate decaying brain cells okay if you have a long day at work and you come home and you play elden ring and it's you know making you frustrated you simply just click off the game for you to place the responsibility of being relaxed on a video game a game which you now know is designed to be hard and challenging and that's your number one complaint is the game is challenging despite the fact that that's what the game is designed for to be a challenge and you're not enjoying yourself after a long day of work you just simply get off don't play it it's not a video game's responsibility to make you relax when it's specifically known for being extremely difficult and hard to play the fuck that you paid for that experience it, it, you shouldn't be saying that's how it is or you know we just know that that's how the, these games are or it's not for everyone a game that's not for everyone isn't a game that should be made in my opinion games are supposed to be fun transcend the reality that we have right now take you to new worlds give you new abilities you're allowed to do things that you never ever could do in the real world without consequence that is such a fucking stupid response Response. If the game isn't for everybody, it shouldn't even be made. So now you just want to limit people's creativity on game de development. Because if it doesn't fit your idea of what it, a game is for everybody, therefore it shouldn't be made. That is such an elitist mentality. If I can't enjoy it, nobody can, nobody should. Quantum, why is it when you get such backlash on like your Elden uh, review, you delete the video. Like, hell, I get backlash on my content and very, very rarely over the course of my 12 years on this platform have I ever deleted content. It, it, very rarely does it happen. If you're so strong in what you feel about this video game, why'd you remove the video? And be accessible to anyone regardless of experience level. That's why, why I play games. Like, I don't play games to be stressed out. And so when I pick up Elden Ring and I keep dying and the bosses are hard and you have to keep grinding, it just turns into a grind fest. If you took the thrill of dying a bunch of times out or if the bosses were really easy, I'm pretty sure most of you diehard fans would probably be pissed off and probably call the game what it really is. Trash. You would, if you would think, right, as a gamer, you'd have people being welcoming. I had maybe five people in the whole comment thread like, hey, man, you know, let's do those bosses together. I'll help you out. You know, only five people. The rest of them were like, oh, you're a clown. You've lost credibility. It's, it's demeaning, player shaming bullshit because you're new to a game that's known, by the way, for being incredibly fucking difficult. And it's your fault, not the dev's fault for not thinking of every single player of all kinds of walks of life. It is your fault. Do you just not simply take the time to look into a game before you buy it? I mean, for me, I typically don't go out and just spend $60 for a any random game, right? Typically, I look at reviews. I read some articles about games. I mean, hell, we have like the Steam Marketplace, right? Which is designed, you can read hundreds of reviews on these games and you can see what people have to say about it. It's almost like you just were so lazy that you just saw people hyping a game. So you said, okay, you know what? I'm gonna jump on the hype train and buy this game. And now I'm disappointed because I didn't do any proper digging into looking into the game itself. So I'm gonna shit and demean players who enjoy the game. This would be like me going to social media and attacking other folks who liked St Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker. It's fine if you like that movie. If you love that movie, that's fine. I personally did not like it. I think it was a really shitty movie. I think they destroyed a lot of Star Wars lore and characters. But at the end of the day, I'm not going to get mad at other people if they enjoyed it. 
People are allowed to enjoy things. But if you go on social media, a public platform, and you bitch at the players who enjoy the game, you don't think that there's going to be some outrage and people are going to call you a clown for simply not doing your due diligence to simply read reviews and, and, and look into the game before you spend your money on it? Not just that, but if you buy a game on Steam, you have a two-hour uh, you know, era of where you can get the full refund of the game back. They don't care. It, it's, it's a challenge, and it has to be for players who think every game is fucking easy, and if you aren't one of those players, then you are a scumbag, you filthy casual. At the end of the day, go kill yourself, man. I'm Dude. <laughs> oh my goodness. You know, that makes me laugh simply because I haven't heard that in a YouTube video in, in quite some time. And it's fine. You know, you can be edgy as much as you want. It doesn't really bother me that all, all that much. But I do find it ironic that you just said that despite you earlier talking about toxic communities, toxic video game players, and then you proceed to then say that in a video if people think and act differently on your perception of a video game. You can't say, oh, these toxic players, and then proceed to then be toxic directly after you accuse people of being toxic. So we all know how the YouTubes work. Another YouTuber by the name of Review Tech USA found wind of what was ongoing with Mischief's channel and the fact that Quantum TV was threatening him to file a false DMCA strike, and that led into a whole nother drama. And then there was another drama with the Act Man. But Review Tech USA makes a video response covering the situation situation with Mischief and Quantum TV, and Review Tech USA does a live stream finding a bunch of social media posts from 2018, 2019, 2020 from Quantum TV on his Twitter account. This is where things just kind of take a spin, right? And as he's live streaming these tweets, these very, very bigoted tweets, and just for context and clarity. In a response to a picture of two people kissing in a church, he wrote, Too bad you weren't a Pulse victim. In reference to the Pulse nightclub shooting, an incident at a gay bar where 47 people were killed. Get this piece of trash off of YouTube. Isn't it funny when people try to call you a bigot and a homophobe when they're literally exactly what they're trying to accuse you of being? Look at you. Literally look at what you're doing. It's rich watching you try to paint me as some sort of bigot as you literally are one. He put up very, very hateful things towards the LGBTQ community. And I'm not just talking mean words. He actually wished death on them. Wishing death upon someone is another story I seriously question your sanity. And this is what Quantum TV wrote back. Uh, they deserve it. The world is better off without them forcing their lifestyle on it. These are your accounts that you had linked on your YouTube, but all of a sudden the, uh, you're not responsible for them? That's not how it works. Man, a guy who consistently wishes death upon other people? Does that sound like someone we know? At the end of the day, go kill yourself, man. You see, Rich was able to successfully prove a connection between the hateful things you said on Facebook and Twitter and your YouTube account and Discord. What else have you said? Just had some girl named Lindsay attack me via heterophobic messages spamming homosexual acts. This is my response to all who are heterophobic. And he shows someone, uh, LGBT activist, attack enjoy. and instead of coming to me like a man you resorted to being a little bitch about it and doing what you knew would get you views and you tried to use the gay community against me and weaponize shit and at the end of the day rich you've got no fucking leg to stand on and you need to shut the fuck up okay the reality is it is what it is i got hacked in 2018 and everything you find from 2018 is just that it's a fucking hack i don't know you an apology and i'm not fucking sorry for shit i didn't do that's that's it God damn those motherfucking hackers man quantum tv claims that he was hacked and this is one of the biggest bullshit responses to your own bigotry that I've ever seen or witnessed on the internet. But what just confuses me is if you had access to your account, you got access from the hacker, why wouldn't you go back in your, you know, post history and delete all these bigoted homophobic posts? The first thing I would do is go onto my social media if I was hacked and delete anything that a hacker posted. But these were up for months, weeks, Years and you have the fucking balls to say I was hacked. No, you weren't buddy because if you were hacked 
how would these the all these posts magically get deleted at the exact same time he's live streaming about you and highlighting these posts no hacker is going to coincidentally remove <laughs> bigoted posts uh, what i have on stream right now is a discord message from the day before he decided to claim he was hacked in which he claims he merely just hadn't used those accounts in a while i would love to hear the explanation of how the day before he claimed he was hacked he had simply not used the account in a while but then the next day his account was supposedly hacked blatantly homophobic comments littered throughout his facebook and something telling me this could be the reasoning as to why he hates being criticized so much because if he were to ever get into drama these unsavory comments would come flying out at him which is hilarious because he's clearly never heard of the streisand effect and that is exactly what's been happening now that he's been in drama it is also exactly how everyone found these disgusting and outrageous comments of which quantum has actually yet to disavow all he's done is said they're terrible not only this but these are also the views he still holds to this day shown by a now deleted article on his blog site that he claimed was posted by his moderators even though he also at the exact same time claims to be a one-man army regularly and on a blog site still linked to his youtube by the way in which he goes on a genuinely insane rant about the lgbt community it takes a hell of a lot of fucked up things to get me to say that someone should be removed off a platform this is one of those cases we should not have bigots like this on youtube especially when they've been rumored to have previously been banned from the platform for their bigotry i mean this guy actively went out of his way to spread covid misinformation and voter fraud misinformation across facebook along with telling people he wants to beat up lgbt members and hoping for them to become shooting victims this is a man who has broken every conceivable youtube guideline and yet is somehow still on the platform anyone who actually believes this horse shit spewing from quantum tv's mouth you're an idiot plain and simple but what did quantum tv do in retaliation to review tech usa well he starts going on his YouTube YouTube channel, calling him the P word. Yes, a P E D O. Slandering somebody, calling somebody the P word just because he had the balls to call you out on your constant copyright abuse and your bigotry. You dare criticize my bigotry? Well, you're a P word. No evidence, no anything, just you're a P word because you watch a political streamer. Crazy, crazy, crazy shit that we live in. Well, see, things don't end there because Quantum TV has made a bunch of videos on mischief, um, made a bunch of videos on Review Tech USA, um, and then started making videos on The Act Man, which oh, Quantum TV just seems to always one up uh, the things that he does. See, The Act Man has a YouTube channel with over a million subscribers. He primarily covers video games, and The Act Man made a video in response to his horrible Elden Ring review. And in that review, well, The Act Man makes fun of the dude for his terrible video game review. And might I remind you is that Elden Ring is not the only game that he's completely, like, tried to criticize in like horrific ways and his criticisms just don't make a lot of sense like with horizon uh zero dawn or whatever like in the start of the video he mentioned that it, it made him uncomfortable that in certain cutscenes there were black people in the background despite him being black himself and i'm just like what Th that's so strange and you know I i'm of the belief that anyone can be racist anyone no matter your racial background no matter your skin color no matter your this, racism anybody can showcase racist behavior um and i think this guy really does demonstrate that with his disdain towards black people being in the backgrounds of cutscenes of video games oh the horror joe schmo down the street having a gangbang with five different men i don't give a living fuck how does that affect my lifestyle how does it affect me it doesn't go fuck yourself quantum tv maybe if you actually did that maybe you would be a little less homophobic quantum tv filed a copyright strike on the act man's video and YouTube shockingly actually sided with the Act Man. However, if you are if a if a copyright strike is filed and it doesn't go through, YouTube gives you an email. What I posted was fair use, and YouTube agrees with me, which is why they rejected the copyright takedown. 
Now keep in mind, in this legal document, not only is it false, but he didn't even bother to fill it out properly. The link to his video is missing, and he wrote the wrong title for the videos he was claiming. I have the original titles here. I will put them on screen. If you send a DMCA takedown notice that is both false and meant in bad faith, such as to harass or doesn't state a real claim, you have committed perjury. Take that! You posted these to YouTube. You can't file false claims and lie in the claim. You absolute moron. But even if YouTube actually issues a copyright strike by default, it will be restored in 20 days if you counter file because uh, the person filing a copyright strike has to, you know, provide a court order to keep a video down and nobody ever does that. Nobody has the means or the money to ever really do that. And uh, no, most courts aren't going to take um, a copyright claim seriously when it's actually fair use. Regardless of that, the act man made a video in response to Quantum TV, and then things got even a little bit more crazy with this dude. He decided that in retaliation, he would then contact the act man's mother. I think contacting somebody's parents, no matter how you got that phone number, reaching out to somebody's parents, especially when the guy's an adult, the guy's an adult dude. Contacting somebody's mom to bitch over the fact that they made a video laughing at a horrible video that you made on a video game. What's more pathetic, contacting somebody's parents or just sitting back and, you know, accepting the fact that your review was dog shit and that people can respond to you accordingly. Uh, this this month, I'm calling on behalf of Quantum TV. Your son has been making a string of uh, really defamatory posts about things he doesn't necessarily understand, and I want to try to talk about this. Our, I mean, I'm trying to avoid any kind of litigation or lawsuit by talking things out, so is there any way I can get in contact with him? Your son is essentially sending a bunch of people after my business, which is, I'm a YouTuber in the same respect, but he's making threats of being able to cancel my, my content and stuff based off of tweets and posts that he's getting from other people. None of which are true, which YouTube will be able to ascertain, but these are these are now becoming libel claims. And I want to be able to, I guess, talk to him to kind of mediate this out so that we don't have to go to court over it. Because the damages that he's causing are quite substantial. Uh, I'm a bigot. I'm a homophobe. I'm committing penalty under perjury. Um, I mean, copyright abuse as he uses third-party software to download my content off of my channel and then repost it after I delete it. Piracy isn't a victimless crime, as we know. I mean, by, by any means, if he's available to talk or, 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 you, or you're the guardian for him, I'd imagine, I can send over a cease and desist letter from my lawyer. I mean, this is to the point where it's getting out of hand. Yeah, I mean, if you can talk to him, because listen, 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 I'm not devoid of reason, okay? I understand that families, and we all have opinions about things online, and that can be frustrating sometimes. He's under the misassumption that, A, I was trying to sue him to begin with because of this content. I was just looking into options to stop him from taking my content down. That's really all this is about. I did a video game review. He disagreed with it. His friends gave him my content, and they're basically sharing it all over the, all over the Internet, making fun of my face and my image and my brand. and lying about my results of my professional work, and, and it's getting to the point where it's affecting me on a monetary level. And it's, <laughs> it's it's something that's not necessary. My name, at this point in time, I'm pretty sure he already has that information through copyright claims. I mean, I at this point, I, I want to limit the amount of information that we're giving out because I don't plan on uh, doing a whole lot, if not necessary, you know what I mean? Well, if we're being completely honest here, your son is causing a lot of damages to my brand and to my reputation. And frankly, I, I really don't want to confirm on a phone call, which may or may not be recorded. I have no idea who I am or what my intentions are entirely. I mean, if you're, if you're comfortable with it, you can give him my phone number and uh, me and your son can have a conversation. No, no, uh mouse or anything behind this and what is even more wild is that he posted the whole phone conversation with the act man's mom on his youtube channel like this is some amazing flex dude uh, that's creepy that's weird imagine if i contacted somebody's mom and recorded the conversation because somebody left a hate comment on my youtube like in the comment section of my videos do, do you know how 
insane that is. You're literally taking two revolvers and blowing off your toes. You're shooting yourself in the foot multiple times with your, your actions and decisions. Like you can't process how it, when, when you're going too far with somebody. And I love how Quantum TV always mentions somebody, this person's criticizing me with 900,000 subscribers or this amount of subscribers. When, dude, you, you originally got, this whole thing started because you were upset with this guy named Mischief, who was who was 16, by the way, a 16-year-old making a video response to you. You got mad, and he had less than, at the time, 5,000 subscribers. And you got mad over that, and then this blew out of proportion because you couldn't have self-control. You couldn't just sit back and be a normal motherfucker for 10 seconds now being terminally ill online because somebody has something to say that's different than what you think and you can't handle that. You are a pile of shit for trying to take people's constant content down falsely because you can't be held accountable for your own goddamn words, your own tweets, your own bigotry, your own doxing. YouTube Quantum TV has a ripple effect. Once you try to hide shit, and evidence of your own criminal doings, of your own illegal DMCAs, of your own bigotry, when you try to hide things and push it under the table, at least with the YouTube community, we come back full force. People and other creators who do commentary like myself, we will cover this shit. We will cross promote other videos in defense of people who are falsely being attacked by some crazy fuck like yourself. And that's what I'm doing today with this video. Those are the Quantum TV files. And I'm sure this is not going to be the last video that I make. Keep your eyes peeled. This video may be DMCA'd or he may make five, six videos on me simply because I'm bringing awareness to the situation. Until next time, thank you for watching. My name is Daniel. Videos that are referenced by Mischief, the Actman, Review Tech USA, all their videos in reference if you want to see them in full context. They are linked down below in the description. And as always, all of my socials are linked down below in the description and my side channel which I do gaming on, Repsy Games. We're almost at 5,000 subscribers. It'd be awesome if I could hit, the, hit that uh, this coming week. Uh, so that's also linked down below in the description. Subscribe to it, and I'll catch you guys next week for another video on a guy who has filed over 35 lawsuits and keeps getting banned from court. He'll probably file one on me, too. Am I going to go to court a third time?